everyone. Welcome back to Aunt Monica's Attic. Today, we're going to do a little bit of doll surgery. Today, I am working on a project for my special little friend, Jubilee. And what we're working on is we're doing a little doll surgery. So her mom brought us this lovely doll and asked that we give this doll a similar surgical procedure to the one that Jubilee is going to get. Let's go over to the table and get her ready for her surgery today. Hi Judy. I'm a little bit nervous about my surgery too, but I know Aunt Monica will take good care of me and I know the doctors will take good care of you. See you soon! Alright, the first thing we need to do is get this doll undressed because you can't have surgery clothes on it doesn't really work. At least not this kind of surgery. Let's get her hair pulled out of the way. We'll make her hair look gorgeous again afterwards. All right so there we go. Now I did a little bit of research because I am actually not a surgeon in case you didn't know that. <laughs> okay so I did a little bit of research and it turns out that your appendix is on the right side of your body and this on GB will be installed near her appendix so this is for a human this doll is a little smaller than a human so it's quite big but we don't want to put it here because that's her belly button so we're going to put it about right there I think would be good so we're gonna take our pencil put a little mark here because that's where we're going to put the hole and then we will install that. So we're going to make a little hole here and we're going to open up her side seam a little bit so that we can sew this in place. All right, I'm pretty nervous about this, but we're going to cut a hole in the doll. Let's do this. This is a knit fabric that her body is made out of, so the good part about that is that it won't fray a whole bunch. And we're going to try to make the hole as small as we possibly can so that we can do as little damage to her as possible. And that's what they do when they do surgery, too. They try to make the damage that they do to make you healthier as minimal as possible. They don't want to make a gigantic hole if they can get away with a little tiny hole. So that's the same thing that we're going to do. Make the smallest hole possible. So that's not going to work. That's, oh, I think it's going to have to be just a tiny bit bigger. Take a little bit out of both sides. That's big enough. Stretch it with the scissors a little bit. Go. Have a hole. Just there. That's perfect. That is going in lovely. All right, and then this is the part where we need to open up the side seam because we're going to have to get in there and pull this right into her body. So let's turn you over, Miss Precious. Turn you over a little bit, and we're going to open up the side seam right here. You can always sew this all back up. That's the great thing about dolls. Even though I'm nervous about cutting her open, we will be able to fix this. So I could have used my seamer for that. Probably would have been easier. But when you have embroidery scissors, they are designed for precision cutting, so you can snip away with those with no trouble at all. Okay, so let's stick my finger in here. This is the first time in probably ever that I've stuck my fingers inside a doll's body through the side seam. This is a whole new experience for me. 
she has a lot of stuffing in here which is really nice because that's going to make this sit very well okay so look at that there's going to be plenty of space here we'll be able to get this done in no time Okay, so that's how it's going to fit, but we want to make sure everything is all tidy and tickety-boo and looks great. So what we're going to do is rip that out and, hey, look at that. If you're measuring, it's like the size of the end of a, a pencil. That's how big of a hole we need. So we're going to take some embroidery thread and pick these two colors. Neither one of them is perfect for her, but we're going to take a little bit from both of these mix them together and then we are going to do a buttonhole stitch all the way around the hole that we made just to make it so it will be bound very tidy and won't risk getting any bigger so let's get that all going let's let's get binding this hole we're gonna make it so that she's gonna look all neat and tidy going to take the needle from the inside to the outside of the stitch and the thread will go around the top and then we'll pull this through and then when we pull it through we'll make a nice little loop there when we pull it up it'll keep everything sweet and tidy and wonderful Okay, now let's take this put it back in here. Pulling, 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 pushing and pulling and pushing and pulling. Do whatever we have to do to make this fit. Let's take this. There. Oh, look at that. Totally lovely. So now what we have to do figure out how we're going to sew this in place. Where's that doll needle? Okay, here we go. We have a doll needle. Doll needles are a bit thick and they're long. It's almost almost as long as her body, but that will allow us to be able to go through and so hmm. maybe what we'll do is go in through here, grab the back of that might have to come up here and then go back out. Not sure. Let's figure it out. I'm just going to anchor the thread here a little bit. Okay, now. Let's see, how are we going to do this? just want to make it so it doesn't pop out. That's all we're after. So I'm going to freaking out about this a little bit. Oh, it's a good thing I'm not actually a doctor because I'm having enough nerves sewing this doll. I wonder if actual doctors, when they're doing surgeries like this, I wonder if they practice on dolls before they give them people. Oh, hey, that's working perfectly. Perfect. Nothing to do that. This doll needle is working quite well to puncture the stem of this bag. So, okay, I, think, I think that will be strong enough. It's gone through a couple of times now. Feels firm. So, yeah. As you see, it's in here quite well nice and tidy underneath. Let's tie this up here. And then I think her surgery is just about finished. Make 
sure that we can put her clothes back on her. So we're going to leave her here in recovery for a little while. She will be totally fine. And we're going to make her a couple of accessories that she needs. So one of the things, one of the things that Juby's mom told me that she's going to need is a, it's a circle that fits between her body and this button. And what it will do is absorb any kind of gooey stuff that might seep out. And here she is. The doll is all finished. She's had her surgery. The plug is attached and we have a nice little pad here to put underneath just in case any oozy oozy stuff comes out. And it's, that's it. She's all set. We just have to comb her hair, get her dressed, and she'll be ready to be reunited with her little friends. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let us know. If you want to see us make anything else, let us know. Any tips or tricks, if you've done this before, we'd love to hear that just in case we ever get a chance to do this again. And I guess that's it. We've got to get her all set to meet her little friend. We'll see you later, everybody. Bye. <laughs>